Last September, the city of Prestonsburg opened its new rail trail to the public, and while the trail itself was complete, there was still more work to do. So on Thursday, one year and eight days after that grand opening, the city held a ribbon cutting to celebrate the now complete Prestonsburg Passage. The ceremony took place at the West Prestonsburg Trailhead, which has only been open for a few weeks. Other new additions include amenities to make it easier to spend time on the trail, including shelters, picnic tables, benches, bike racks, trash cans, water spigots, bicycle repair stations, and, well, other facilities. Officials say it all adds up to an attraction that is not only a benefit for local residents, but a draw for tourists. We had a ribbon cutting just for the asphalt. So many people have enjoyed this trail. By the time we worked through everything we were trying to do, we ended up with a substantial amount of money left over. And uh, that was because of very frugal spending by the, uh, the staff, the contractors worked with us. Everybody has been so excited to see this happen that we were able to put back about $170,000, almost 200 actually. So with that, we were able to buy a track uh, excavator over here, we bought this uh, electric vehicle that is a maintenance vehicle, and uh, we have bought all these amenities. What a great trail, and what what great interest in the trail. And you're on the right path. I think uh, the Hidney's Hills are home to us, but they're an attraction to people who don't live here. And you're making Kentucky available to a lot of people including yourselves. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. The trail is already a hit. It's amazing the number of people that are already coming out to use the trail. And they're coming from everywhere. The with that said, the, the opportunity creates more opportunity. And the people visiting the trails, they stay locally. Hopefully they will visit our new campground that just opened on the trail. They'll spend the night in one of our hotels and grab something to eat. So parlaying these opportunities into bigger opportunities is what we're doing. So when this vision first came about, and I was not anywhere part of the vision, but, but people saw it, and we had people in place that were, were being visionaries and, and trying to be innovative, and people thought, what in the world's a paved trail going to do? Again, $44 million in spending last year in Floyd County. <laughs> That's what trails like this are doing, and, and what a blessing that no taxpayer dollar was spent on a creation like this. The trail runs from West Prestonsburg through Archer Park and the Middle Creek Battlefield and on to the former coal mining camp of David. It is open during daylight hours for walkers, runners, cyclists, and horseback riders. Reporting from Prestonsburg, I'm Ralph Davis for Mountaintop News.